Oh, so what are we watching? This is the Two Kiwi Riders 3 MFs Challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What does that MF stand for? <laughs> what do you think it stands for? <laughs> it's not a Samuel L. Jackson film. <laughs> the Two Kiwi Riders, they, um, they choose three moto vlogger friends, MFers, tell us a little bit about them, and then they pass on the challenge to do the same to those three people. Yeah. So who's this first one? Oh, that's uh, Motor Royale from New York. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out his bike, that classic Royal Enfield. Isn't it mm, beautiful? It's so nice. Yeah, <laughs> man. I love checking out his rides and just checking out the, the, the inner city of, mm. of, of New York, you know? Is this the one where he gets lost and he's got to pay the toll? <laughs> it's so expensive. To take a wrong turn in New York, it's like 15 bucks or something. Yeah. Far out. This one. I think there was one episode where his GPS wasn't playing fair. No. <laughs> his GPS sort of sent him on this this shortcut that cost him a bomb. <laughs> so, yeah. The scenic route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's really cool, actually, Motor Royale, because he's really um, involved with uh, biker rights um, and uh, transportation. Uh, around um, New York City and it's such a, a densely populated city that you need such good regulation you yeah. know yeah but um he's really interesting and he he's so knowledgeable and intelligent with um you know within his motor vlogging like watching his journey his motorcycle journey and the friends he's making and yeah yeah because oh. he's only relatively new mm. to, to riding yeah um, and, and keeping a logbook and what have you. Yeah. And I think that probably stems maybe from his, because uh, I believe he was flying planes, wasn't he? He was, yeah. yeah. So that, you know, keeping logbooks. Oh, this is the one where he gets surrounded by police. Nine police officers trying to tell him the law and, and they can't find it. And there's nine of them. <laughs> there's nine of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy man, mm -hmm. crazy. I think I think a lot of people. Wow, well, I think there was people that wondered whether or not he um he got real sort of disenfranchised with the police after that, mm -hmm. and uh, he had to do this other video that, that that asked the question, you know, does he hate the police? You know, it's crazy. Yeah. This container looks smaller in my hands. No, they're the same size. Are you sure? Yeah. Exactly the same. I feel like you got more than me. No. Yeah. yeah. I measured it out at the same. Is it just that my hands are bigger? It looks look smaller. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I've just got small hands. I trust you. That's good. Oh, this this is one of your favourites. It's double shot moto. Double shot moto. Yeah. Love it. Yep, North Island. New Zealand. North Island in New Zealand. Lives up near Topo, Lake Topo, which is a big hole in the middle of the North Island. Look at that bike. Yeah, it's stunning. He yeah. upgraded recently. Yeah, yeah. He was on the, the Road King, I think. Mm. Yeah, Road King. He's now got the CVO Road Glide Ultra. Wow. That's beautiful, too. Yeah. He, uh... You got to do a, a meet up as well with some others up in the North Island. Yeah. yeah. I'm always real jealous, you know? He seems mm. to be able to catch up with with all the um the North Island crew like um like recently he caught up with Volgnet. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, a bit before that he caught up with As You Were and Kiwi Badger, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. It was. Yeah. Got to see the beautiful roads up there and Tell you what too there's been a few videos and um you, you can see the view out of his kitchen window looking out over what i assume is, is lake topo yeah beautiful so it's nice. so stunning yeah, you can tell he loves his he loves his country and he loves his bike and loves the roads here awesome Pete, look at that oh, that's man. stunning it's beautiful yeah yeah i mean <laughs> 
We're probably biased, but New Zealand is such a beautiful country. Oh, we're not biased. <laughs> it just is a beautiful country. It just is. Yeah, yeah. Every now and again, you'll um, you'll see his wife. Oh, and he's got a wonderful daughter called Taya. Mm. She has some adventures as well. She does. It's really cool, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love that mail call one where she got that awesome mail package from the Geared Raven. From the Geared Raven. She yeah. just totally hooked her up, eh? Yeah, so, so good. That was cool. I loved it. Yeah, real special. I tell you what, he's a man after my own heart, that double shot. Double shot of coffee in the morning before hey. you go for a ride. <laughs> got to fuel yourself up. That's the way you do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Check out that bike. That's Mr. KS guys. How was sexy? How was sexy? Wow. That green man. Mr. Kansas guy, seventy-four. Yeah. You know, he was born in the same year as Mr. Kiwi Rider. Was he really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, little, yeah. Little known fact. Little known fact. Yeah. Mm. But you can't guess what year that was. No, no idea. I'd say sixties. 63, I think, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mr. KS guy um, lives in a small uh, town called Chanute mm -hmm. in Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been watching some of him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That ghost one was interesting. Ah, uh, in the schoolhouse. Yeah, creepy, eh? Um, creepy. The jury's out with me on the old paranormal sort of stuff, but... When people tell their stories, it's interesting. It's kind of my spine tingles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like even just seeing like the town that he lives in, and it's real cool. Hearing the stories um, of of when he was growing up. Yeah. You know, when he was in high school and where they would go. So you relatable. Know, so relatable. Yeah, you know, yeah. you'd have those places. Definitely. Like he had the place down by the river where they'd go and hang out. He's really relatable because, you know, yeah, he just takes you around the town and points out places of interest that, that were interesting to him um, in his life. It's nice because you feel like you know this person because mm. you're hanging out with him and he's telling you stories about how he grew up. Oh, dude, that reminded me. I don't know why that reminded me, but Mr. Kansas guy, he bit the dust like a bag of sand in one of his videos. <laughs> oh, the poor guy. And he was... You could hear him, he wind, he winded himself and, oh, and I think he landed on his ribs or his side or something. Oh, I felt his pain, man. Ow. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh. So I think now what happens, I think that the people that um, the two Kiwi Riders nominated there. Oh, yeah. I think they now have to do, well, they're, they're now challenged to do this challenge, to do the two. Uh, oh, they have to do the three and that. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that'll be something good to look forward to. Yeah. I'd probably wait to the end because often there's bloopers at the end. So don't rush off right when you think it's finished. Do you think there's like an end credit scene? Offer, you never know what you're going to get with two Kiwi Riders, so... Well, that's actually true. I mean, he dressed up in a blue wig, for goodness sake. I saw that. Yeah. That so was crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. I feel sorry for his wife sometimes. <laughs> I feel sorry for him sometimes. <laughs> you know I'm friends with her. You know her? Yeah. You know Mrs. Kiwi Rider? I do. You do not. I'm friends with her on Instagram. Oh, whatever. Yes, so am I. Yeah. Yeah. So, I could totally tell her what you just said. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I think this is the bit where Mrs. Kiburata takes her clothes off. Right, we've seen enough. No, no, leave it, leave it!
This is really good. Those two Kiwi writers do a brilliant job, eh? Yeah. Love it. Love this film. Put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they always give it their all, eh? They don't waste their evenings. They certainly don't <laughs> waste their evenings. No, they don't. <laughs> Funny, too. Mm, yeah. yeah. Hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Can't stop laughing. Yeah. Time. Never. Just an uproarious laughter every mm. time I see them. Yeah, just mm. their faces. <laughs> yeah, their faces, yeah, certainly. Those accents, man. Excellent. Yeah. No, what well, 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 is like, you want solid with your chicken fillet? <laughs> Two Kiwi Reuters. They sound like chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you want solid with your chicken fillet? <laughs> and then it's like, it's like, it's not here, hair, and hair, it's here, here, and here. Yeah. Beer and beer. Yeah, it's not bear and beer, it's beer and beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We still love them though. Yeah, we still love them. Yeah. Two Kiwi Riders.